Pro Tools is very pervasive in the audio industry. You go to a famous recording studio, you see a Pro Tools rig somewhere. You go to a post-production facility doing, doing sound for a blockbuster film. There's usually an S6 console and, and Pro Tools rigs as well doing that work. And then obviously there are literally hundreds of thousands of people who use Pro Tools every day at home, making their own music or, or doing some audio work of some kind. So what's really exciting uh, to us this year is bringing up some of these expansive workflows that are being used by professionals around the world and starting to trickle them down to new categories of users. S4 is, is a new addition to our control surface line. It takes a lot of its design cues and functionality aspects from S6. S6 is a very ubiquitous control surface in larger studios. This is for the, for the, the TV mixer the music producer who wants the power of S6 but in a smaller, more affordable package. Most of the top-line mixers are fluent with S6s and can move between different studios and the requirement is an S6 and that's the standard. The workflow is the same as an S6 so you can move between the two different surfaces and not have to learn a new console. So I see S4 finding a place in more and more uh, commercial music mixing facilities where it could be either the centerpiece of the studio or it could be a really nice complement to an existing analog setup. So S1 is a new control surface from Avid. It's an eight fader unit, features motorized faders, also a number of knobs and encoders, and a neat little slot to put a tablet where our Pro Tools control app will be running, giving you some visual feedback, and some additional control, and all of your metering. The cohesion between the app, the faders in front of you, and Pro Tools is pretty mind-blowing. The Avid S1 improves on the already brilliant Artist Mix. It adds many features the Artist Mix does not have. The S1 enables a new meter screen on the control app that mimics the S6. It provides high-resolution meters, automation feedback, EQ graphs, dyn graphs, pan graphs, just like the S6. All of our control surfaces today are Yukon control surfaces. They're not only capable of driving Pro Tools, but they can drive other DAWs out there and many video applications as well. One thing that is really dear to our heart is to create really smart workflows with our hardware. We don't want to give you a dumb box that's just there to pass audio in and out of the computer. That's not the point. We want to bring you tools that smartly interact with Pro Tools to give you the best workflow possible. Being a musician and a producer myself, I know the kind of things that technologies enable our users to do. And I can't wait to see what our users do with our new products.